to stop and see the uh, Kinko Tequina booth because uh, they've got a monopod here that is so light. I told the guy it felt like when I lift up a beer glass and it's actually too light and you throw the beer over your head. But anyway, I've cornered uh, Michael Burnham here to talk to me about it. Sure. Yeah, this is the um, Pro 382 CFL carbon fiber tripod. Very simple to use. Four leg sections, three locks. So there you go. That folds it right up. Real simple. Unfolding it. Just as easy. And what it does, it weighs less than 12 ounces. 12 ounces. And how tall is this? This goes up to, I believe this is 60 inches. Wow. So you can get a camera right at eye level. But even before you put a head on it, you can put a head on it if you want. And just a super lightweight, very high quality carbon fiber made in a slick factory. It's not made in a sub subcontractor or anything like that. So this is a slick, all slick design, uh, patent pending on their, their leg grasps. So uh, very... So now you get something, normally the smaller the bikini, the more it costs, the lighter the tripod, the more it costs, oh, right? Absolutely. How much is this? This one's right now at the show today, this is going for $85. Normally it sells for about $110. Uh, well, that's a crazy price. It's a crazy price for a carbon fiber tripod, yeah, because this is not regular metal here. This is actually something that they had to mix together, carbon elements, put it together in a furnace to make the tubing, all that. Wow. So this is just beautiful. So that's the coolest practical thing, but now we're going to switch over to okay. something impractical for my audience, but it's just so fun. we got to go it talk to fun. it. So what we're looking at here to those on the audio uh, uh, audience are giant bubble-looking things with bright colors in the background and go pro mounts on top and I do not understand what these things even are. Okay, what these are for is, all, you see all the surf footage or surf photos where it's like shot within the barrel? So what the, this is what they use. Oh, so when you okay. see those surf photos where the wave is coming right up over the camera, this is what the photographer has. I mean, this looks like something out of a, a, a movie in the 1960s about going underwater, doesn't yeah, it? It does, it does. But what it is is uh, Aquatech underwater housings are designed specifically for that type of surf photography. And they have, um, basically, you have different backs, so you have a lot of control over the camera. You have a lot of control over your camera while it's in the in the housing still. Holy cow! So, what kind of camera do you put in this? This one is uh, specifically for the, the Nikon. This back in the shape for the Nikon D4. They have one for a D5, of course, and then also on the Canon side, the D1X, um, and the other and the other cameras. This is for the big guys, and of course, they have a variety of housings. This is all waterproof. Uh, it's good to a depth of one atmosphere. So, it's what's why they refer to as a sport housing and not an underwater housing. Okay, so this is not your scuba diving housing. No, this is not a scuba diving housing. This Even is. Though it looks like my head would fit in it. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, then, now the one on top's got a GoPro mounted right. on the top. What the heck? You can put this on any one of the houses. What it is is uh, photographers like to do is while they're shooting stills, of course, you know, you have like a 24 or 36 megapixel camera in there. They also like to do shots. They get GoPro shots of video of the waves crashing over them, things like that. So it's kind of doing double duty. This is just running video of uh, you know of what they're going through while they're shooting the still photos. Now this will be just for the comedy because I don't. Think my audience would buy these, but how much does one of these cost? Oh, this is actually a uh, full set with, let's say you want this whole thing, which would be the the uh, housing, the back, a uh, port, and this runs about two grand. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought. They can run up to 2500 depending on what port configuration you have, and they have different gears so you can zoom a lens in here right there. Your shutter button is here. They also have a pistol grip here, uh, which is on this one. This pistol grip gives you two buttons. One is for focus and the other is for shooting, the, is for taking the picture. Plus, it can double as a helmet that you can wear for Halloween. <laughs> that too. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate your time. Thank you.